A millionaire, purportedly, CEO of a major emoji branding company, has been arrested at the Los Angeles airport for trying to steal an $800 camera. Uh, we actually mentioned Dose of Fusi on the show uh, about Joey Salads. He was against Joey Salads' video. But this is a, a famous YouTuber who was on a plane with his friend, and they left the plane quickly, and the friend forgot his camera. And only when he went back to look for it did a fan of his stop him and say, no, that guy took your camera. Go chase him. So there's a long video where Fousey and company go after the uh, person who stole the camera and confront him in front of police. Here's what happened. Y'all are some thieves. You're a freaking thief, bruh. No, no. No, he stole our camera and denied it on camera for five minutes and said you had a business meeting. Are you arresting him? Yes, arrest him. That's some shady shit right there with your $2,000 bag. Well, your boyfriend. So this all continues. Finally, the guy's arrested, and there's a confrontation with the girlfriend of the of the uh, person of the perp, and it turns out that the perp is a CEO of a company that makes branded emoji lines for Steph Curry, Rick Ross, Amber Rose, and there he was trying to steal an $800 camera. Thoughts, five words or less. Oliver, you lie. Lights, camera, action. Nice. Yes, Amir. That was amazing. Two points for Amir. Um, Your lighting looks good today, Brett. Thank you. Ooh, stop. <laughs> uh, poop emoji, plane emoji, police emoji, um, another poop emoji, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Steph Curry. For good measure. For right? sure, yeah. Because he, he, he's there. involved. Yeah. Uh, so good. I love, I love videos where justice is done. Right, except the weird thing about this justice is that Oliver was very much saying that he was innocent and that this was a setup, oh, which is why I think this story so, is very it's intriguing. It's so cringy to watch it. I know, and he cited his Louis Vuitton luggage that was 5,000. He his basically says, I'm girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, it was his girlfriend. So $2,000 bag. Dude, that's fine, bro, bag. yeah. No, like, okay, I was so, I just lied so no, but, much. I said but, he said something no, about it. No, he lied so much. He lied so much. So, so good. So, but he lied the whole time. Oof. He's a, you know, he's so rich. Why would he steal? He's like, it's nothing in my bag. And they're like, okay, <laughs> open your bag. You can just feel how nervous he is because he's like, these guys aren't gonna stop. So I'm just gonna keep lying and walk away, and I'll get away from this. Well, and like, no, you're not. When you were a kid, did you ever? Did your parents yes. ever catch you for something? Yes, and, and you just want to evade it as much as possible. Yes, mm -hmm. I, like I know, but like I know like how he feels. I've never mm -hmm. done something. And I would never. As do a grown something. person, yeah. the fear, the all-consuming fear, you can just sense it. It's it's really perhaps one of the cringiest videos yeah. I've ever did seen his girlfriend on YouTube. Know? So it doesn't seem like his girlfriend knew, yeah. and it, I'm fine giving her the benefit of the doubt on whether she knew about the camera, mm -hmm. but I'm not giving her the benefit of the doubt on saying, why would I steal? This bag is $2,000. Yeah, the argument doesn't really hold water. I don't get expensive bags at all. That's no. the, I have a belt on that costs, uh, it's a gift certificate, I felt bad. Mm -hmm. It's like over $100 for a belt. Really? But Yeah. Can I see this? Looks like a good belt. It's a really good, it's, it's fine, better than the H&M belt yeah. that fine broke leather. because of how much I yeah. eat. <laughs> um, but it's so great that she's flaunting her bag being worth $2,000. Yeah. Have you ever caught someone in the act? Of stealing? Yeah, have you ever done anything this like rewarding to watch? No, but I have been very much caught in the act of thieving. What'd you do? When I was uh, maybe 12 years old, um, at the where my, my dad at my dad's church, there was this coffee. They'd have this coffee hour space, and next to the coffee hour space, there was um, a classroom, and uh, there were some like graduate students or like theologian people that would have their class adjacent to this coffee hour, and then they would go on a break when our church would be having coffee hour because the coffee hour was super loud. So I would sneak into this classroom and I would uh, steal their fancy pens. And I and I started a bit of a business um, where I would like keep these pens for weeks and weeks and weeks. And finally, um, people, it, the word got out, like someone during coffee hour <laughs> is going into this classroom and stealing pens. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? And then one day I stole this amazing, beautiful fountain pen. And uh, I, because it's such a preacher's kid thing, you know what I mean? So I, so I stole this fountain pen, I like put it in my shirt and I was walking out to the parking lot, leaving with my parents. And this woman comes up to me and she was like, 
mind you, this is all in French because we're in Belgium right now, so it's already a little bit scarier. Um, uh. Because yeah, I mean, because French is my like second language, even though I was fluent in it. So it's a it's scarier because my parents don't really understand it, even though I do. And this uh. woman comes running after me, and she's like, "Do you do you have my pen?" And she, I was like. No, and she was like, this this fountain pen, it's white, it's blue ink, it, my father gave it to me, it's a really oh, valid. Oh, shit. I know! It, she was like, it's a, I was little. He died. And I know, she was like, it's bones. really, really important to me, do you not have, do you have this pen? And I was like, no, I don't have it. She's like, I, I'm just gonna say that I saw you go into the classroom, we've been wondering Oof. who this was, we know that you took the pen, you have my pen. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my and God, what happened, what happened And so then the she end? was like, well, I can't, she's like, you're really not gonna give me my pen back. And my parent, my mom was like, what's she saying? And I was like, I don't have it. And so then she went back inside and then the next Sunday I put the pen back in the, and I, and she really, she was so disappointed in me too. I just, it haunts me to this day, I'll never God. forget standing in that parking lot. So that's like that's why I identify with this feeling, but sometimes it's better to be caught, to really feel the guilt of like, oh shit, I did oh, something no. bad. I, I've definitely it's worse. stolen like small things and probably in school. I've never been caught though. Oh, and you're I've just never, so I, good. I, I, no, it's just like he's a cat burglar. Yeah. What was he gonna admit it? But no. I've had things that's stolen from me, and I've never caught burglar. the person either. And it's, no. it sucks. Like you fantasize about what you would do if someone you stole the pink flamingo from the front of our place, <gasps> a little pink flamingo, and they just took it, and it's gone now. Forever? Forever. It's so sad, but one time, uh, my brother, I think I was like, when I was a kid and, and I said F, and my brother got blamed for it, and I let F him word? get spanked, the F word, and I let him get spanked for it, because we did that, because we were badasses. We did corporal punishment. Stop it. Mm -hmm. And my brother got spanked for it, and it was my fault, and I don't think I've ever brought that up. You feel bad for you it? You feel better now? I don't feel much better. No. I feel pretty but terrible. But you, you feel guilty about doing that? I feel very guilty about it. It's so sad because my brother is such like a, a dear heart. Yeah. Well, what do we think is next for this story then? What's next for this story is this guy is going to have to pay a fine and it's probably a misdemeanor. He's not going to spend any time besides like in prison or anything. He's probably just going to spend like the night so in jail. Does Fuzi and the guy who got his camera stolen do they do they have like do they have to press charges or is it because you're caught stealing like it is what it is? I don't know, but I'm sh I don't know. Can I they like be I like oh, we don't want to press charges? And... Should have looked that up. I I I think this is enough for them. Just looking at him, it's already enough they gave him yeah, every. They weren't un... going to do yeah. anything. They were just like, show me what's in your bag. And it wasn't till he ran away that they were like, all right, we're going to film this because he's on that bus and we found him. And, Oh going to catch him. Yeah, the it's public hurt, humiliation man. is already a lot. So business. good. I mean, I, I what does Rick this Ross say about? Rick Ross is going to be so upset. Yeah, you don't want to piss off Rick yeah. Ross. Mm -hmm. Oh, and no. Future also. Oh. And certainly not Amber Rose. And I would never have known that this guy's name is Oliver Camilo, unless something like this happens. Yeah. So and don't steal stuff from people. That's just bad. Um, there are some countries that will let you off if you're really hungry and you steal food. We yeah. talked about that on the show. Yeah. Um, all right, what do you guys think should happen to this person? And um, whose side are you on? Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.